Cyclones stand out. Tyrese Hunter dropped a bombshell on fans today. He is heading into the transfer portal. Uh, Hunter's a key player for the Cyclones. Helped lead them to that Sweet 16 appearance that nobody thought was going to happen this year. Of course, fans were excited to see what was next for the freshman. Well, maybe it's going to be at another school. His message on Twitter reads in part, thanks to my coaches and staff, as well as all the players for embracing me as I started my collegiate career here at Iowa State. After praying, speaking with my family, and giving myself time to carefully consider my next steps on this journey, I've decided to enter the NCAA transfer portal. Here to tell us about the impact uh, on this news, we have our sports director, Keith Murphy. Tough day for Cyclone fans, and you see them all on Twitter trying to reassure each other or make sense of it all. Well, it is going to be okay. This is not the end of the world. Sure. You have to remember, Iowa State has benefited greatly from the transfer portal as much as any school in the country this past <laughs> year. This was just a surprise because Tyrese Hunter is the kind of young man you're trying to build your program around right. the next couple of years. Rumor started over the weekend, and then it was confirmed today. He could, of course, still change his mind, maybe if he sees the opportunities aren't quite what he's expecting. He could come back to Iowa State, but I don't expect that to happen. The thing, the question on everybody's mind is why? Why? When you've had this success right out of the gate and everybody's pointing to those three letters, NIL, name, image, likeness, can he just go somewhere, bigger school, more of a blue blood, and just clean up? I think it is about name, image, likeness. Mm -hmm. Tyrese Hunter is a guy who lost both his parents before the age of 13. He was raised by his grandmother and his older brother. He is uh, still now only 18 years old. He was 17 years old for part of the season. And there is NIL money at other programs that there's not yet available at Iowa State. They have, Dan, what's called collectives, where alumni and boosters come together. They create a pot of money and they give it to players. It's above board. There's nothing illegal about it. It's not against the rules. It doesn't come from the school's fund. It is a collective of payment. And players on some teams like North Carolina, Kentucky, Duke, for instance, that money can be anywhere from $100,000 to $750,000 a season. We saw some of this play out last year right here locally where Drake's Joe Yesifu had a breakout NCAA tournament. Next thing you know, he's at Kansas. Yeah, I think there's probably some fear among Cyclone fans that that's where Hunter could end up as well. I've seen, I've seen people suggesting that, that Bill Self was, was writing checks to make this happen. Haven't heard anything about <laughs> Bill Self. North Carolina yeah. has been a persistent rumor. Um, but there's no confirmation of that. And North Carolina doesn't have a lot of space on that team. Right. They're already stacked. Uh, but Tyrese Hunter is going to go out there, see what the options are, and find out what kind of name, image, likeness money there is available. I think it is important to note there's no suggestion that he has any problem with Iowa State basketball, with Coach T.J. Otzelberger, with the staff, with the right. fans. He feels like this might be the time where he has the most opportunity to make money. An NBA career is not guaranteed a 27% yes. three-point shooter. He has some things he needs to improve on. But these days, some of these college players can make more money in college they, than they can in the NBA G League or even at the, on the bench as a rookie of an NBA team. It's completely transformed collegiate sports. We it's are crazy. just at the tip of the iceberg of this. Uh, wh what about the, uh, the idea that this could be a wake-up call? For, for an institution like Iowa State and for its fan base. We just talked to Chris Williams of Cyclone Fanatic. He yep. is the publisher of Cyclone Fanatic. He is also a host on KXNO Sports Fanatics. He says he's learned today there is already a collective in the works with Iowa State alums and donors. They are putting together the process of having the kind of money that some of these programs already have. The big concern here, Dan, is is this going to widen mm -hmm. the gulf between the haves and have nots? There's only so much money at an Iowa State right. or an Iowa, and they're already asking for that money for fundraising and a lot of other things. Yeah, we got to wrap it up, but just because a player enters the portal does not mean they're automatically gone. They still have the option Correct. to stay. He could still turn around like Noah Carter did last year yep. at UNI, although he just left again this year. Sports Director Keith Murphy, let's send it back over to the